yesterday I posted this logo and also the case that it sits on and the case that the logo came on I got uh, several comments everything about what's the big deal or some said they didn't even care some folks actually guessed correctly what it is and just to show you a little bit, uh, Dre's not in need of any uh, hard cases. I have a few for my other drones. As you can see here, I have let's see, one, two, three, four hard cases, a backpack there, all with drones inside of them. In the back of my car, I keep another backpack drone, my Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian. Uh, I have the Mavic Pro 2 in this soft case, the original Mavic Pro in that case. I keep my camera bag here, two tripods, laptop, any accessories I may come across that I need for GoPro stands, clip-ons, tripods, digital mic, anything else I may need, anything from duct tape that I might need to mount something on with my uh, vest, jacket, even hard hat. I even keep a... Uh, step-by-step -step manual on doing uh, roof inspections so uh, no I didn't need another hard case in case anybody was asking now for the big reveal of what this case is all about I've talked to some people online and different uh, forums and chat groups about uh, furthering uh, my abilities and, and capabilities of doing more work out in the field and for you to do more work, two things need to happen. You need to get trained or educated. You need to have uh, upgraded equipment. So if I open this case here, this is the next step in Recovery One operations. This right here is what we call the Firehouse Technology Ground Command Center. Okay. As you see here, I have my Maverick 2 Pro already cut out. That will be replaced soon by a Maverick Enterprise Advance, which is coming on in route right now we speak. Uh, has the internal power supply that powers up. I will get turn the power on, that might help. Push button power, AC outlet, make sure it powers on, and voila, the TV will power on most likely. Yes. Okay, I'm not gonna go in depth, drawn out type of uh, unboxing thing because that's not what I do but I just wanted to just uh, let me do some folks this is not new tech it's been out for at least two to three years to my knowledge but it's mostly been geared towards uh, first responders uh, this gives them the capabilities of being out in the field for uh, several hours without worrying about charging uh, equipment to so everything you see here we have several USB ports to, to, to uh, power up controllers, uh, batteries, and so forth. Also, what I like about this is that it comes with a EasyCast streaming the device. This plugs right in. You get two HDMI uh, plugins. Make sure I got it in correctly. There we go. And also, it does hardwired. We always recommend you go hardwired. There's always probably no problems when you go hardwired. As anything, when you go wireless, there's always certain things you can run into being wireless. On the inside, you can see where you pick out which one that you want plugged in. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go ahead and plug up the easy cash. Make sure it's on. Turn back over to the screen. Power on. There we go. Even talks back to you. Power on. Okay. So whatever you have plugged in here, that's what it'll show on the screen. The Easy Cast has a system that it will work uh, through a hotspot or whatever. Uh, uh, Wi-Fi signal you have in, have in the area. 
I have this bolt set up. It comes with a 25 foot uh, cord to hook up to uh, devices that you can stream right away to it. And I'll show you right, show you that here in a second. Uh, but my main interest is that even in spite of, I bought a 50 foot cord for myself. But in spite of that, uh, I want to be able to use all of my devices from my Crystal Skies, which has the HDMI output port. Uh, but I want to be able to use my Apple Pad. I want to use my uh, uh, Android tablet, even with my phones, if I so desire, and have them stream what's on the screen, on their screen, to this screen. Uh, to power up this uh, charger here, it comes with a regular uh, AC adapter, and also it comes with a DC adapter in case you need to keep it charged. The, the uh, main uh, power source is supposed to be able to stay uh, deliver power for up to four hours. So that's a good amount of time for anyone to be out in the field uh, four hours at any given time. And that's keeping the screen on and charging batteries and so forth at the same time hours okay as we continue you see what the easy cast can show you you can use your devices with a hotspot to stream from your Apple or Android device through this system to show what's on the screen if you hardwire it like I have now I have the other HDMI and I click the button and switch over to it this is what you'll get and they'll tell you what's on it and you get that familiar screen uh, that we get uh, with the Crystal Sky. This is uh, coming straight off of my 5 inch right there. And this would be on the large screen. By the way, this is a 24 inch uh, high definition screen. And so it gives you good color and everything else in, out in the field. I will be doing further testing of this product out in, out in real world conditions to see how much glare uh, it can withstand and go from there. But this is what this case is all about. Uh, when I get the uh, Maverick uh, Enterprise Advance, uh, the, one of the first things I'm going to do is go out and do a uh, thermal uh, test towards the evening time with this device right here and see how well the, uh, the drone picks up things that in low light and also how it gets displayed on the screen. So once again, this is uh, Dre, Recover One Drones. Uh, just to let you guys know, if you're not moving forward, everybody else is passing you up. As always, hang on, enjoy the ride, and please subscribe. Thank you. Recovery One Drone. Let us be your eye in the sky.